Hey, today I want to show you a quick tip for what to do when you have drafts in Tailwind. So um, when I first got Tailwind, I was like, what is this drafts folder um, that's up here? So if you go to your scheduled pins or over here on the left, you might see that there are drafts. Uh, what do you do with those? So today I'm going to show you how to deal with those. So you just click drafts. Um, and this can happen if you decided to pin something in Tailwind and then clicked over somewhere else and it didn't pin all the way. Or if you're on the mobile app for iOS and you're pinning that way and you're just saving the pin as a draft instead of going through all the steps and scheduling it. So um, I have an iPad that I'll mess around with on Pinterest and all those posts will go to draft if I'm not totally paying attention. So here's three pins. Um, these are all on the same topic. So if they are on the, all on the same topic, I can just type in that uh, board name and it will auto populate them. And sometimes I'll put a board name, but it didn't pin all the way because I'm clicking around too fast. <laughs> so it saved it as a draft um, so I can come and pin it later. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I, I went ahead and uh, scheduled those. I'm just gonna click, you can either click each one to schedule them or add to the queue or put a time, or you can just click schedule all drafts um, here and it will do them all at once. Now, once they're all scheduled, they're gonna be dropped into the back end of my queue. Um, and I have a lot of pins here, so I don't think I should scroll all the way down to show you where they're at, but um, basically they're dumped at the end. Now, I could schedule them at certain times if I wanted them not to be dumped at the end, um, but I like to just throw stuff in my queue and then I hit shuffle queue a couple times and mix it all up together. Um, this way I kind of have a good distribution of my content all over the place so I don't have like one week is all tamales or whatever I happen to be pinning. Um, I have content scheduled for a few weeks out so that I have this good mix of all the different types of content that I have coming up on my blog. I'm actually pre... Um, like pre uh, exposing my audience to those types of pins a few weeks before and a few weeks during and a few weeks after I've published that post. So if I know that I have a post on uh, tamales coming up, I'm going to be pinning a bunch of tamales all around those few weeks before ahead of and behind when I'm gonna publish the tamale post. That way, um, I'm already showing up in search for tamales. I'm attracting people that are looking for that content um, to follow me. So I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions about how to use Tailwind, please put them down in the comment section. And here on the video, I have a link. If you wanna try Tailwind and get a free trial, um, just click the link. You'll be signed up to get a free trial so you can try it out. Um, I think you can pin like 100 pins before, it, uh, before you reach like the limit on the trial. So. It's a really good way to try try out the platform and see if it works for you. It has totally changed my traffic, helped me make way more money. Um, again, if you guys have any questions on any of that, just let me know down in the comments and I will answer them. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.